So today we've got another great card for Father's Day and it reminded me of a song and then I thought, oh, there's one special guy that I know that's going to love this card. Uh, he's a big fan of uh, Jimmy Buffett and Cheeseburger in Paradise, of course. So um, thinking about maybe creating a nice little caption for the inside, um, you know, maybe uh, uh, May Your Day Be Paradise or something cheesy <laughs> like that. But anyway, it's a burger. It's a cheeseburger, double quarter pounder to be exact. And I've got everything cut out here. We can just start popping it together here. Here's the uh, base, the actual card itself. And I've already folded it in half. And I'm just going to start with something simple just to kind of get my feet wet here. We've got a nice little blank layer for your sentiment or your stamp or whatever it is you want to include. You can do a print and cut with this if you want. That's totally up to you. And we're going to take this piece and we're just going to glue this right to the middle, the center, all right, on the inside, on the right side, obviously. And just kind of keep it within the boundaries of the score line on the right hand side and do your best to get a nice even border all the way around. Okay, so that's a good little area to do your stamping or journaling. Okay, and that's that. And then really all we're doing after that is just kind of piecing the, uh, the cheeseburger together, which is making me really hungry. I think that's why I maybe had a burger today is because I subconsciously knew that I would be putting one together. Uh, so this is the uh, base of the front. So we're going to just get that glued down. And then we're going to assemble our burger. So this is, this is going to go quick as well. Uh, there is a specific order that you want to do this in. So you could try to do this without watching the video. And of course you wouldn't hear me say that unless you watched the video. So that was kind of pointless. But I would just kind of follow along here and just make sure that you get it right the first time. Okay, so pop this right on the front. Again, try to make sure that you get a nice even border all the way around. And make sure it's nice and even and level. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Come on, man. There we go. That works. Okay, just press that down. And there, there's a series of markers all over the front of this to help you make sure that you get everything nice and aligned. And I'm going to start by getting uh, the word happy put up there. And I do believe that we're including a version of this without the sentiment. So it's just the cheeseburger. So you could probably, uh, and don't quote me on that. I think we're still kind of trying to work it out and see if that's something we can do. But uh, there are a series of guides up here and I'm using my little pick-me-up tool to get these letters glued down into the appropriate location here. And I'm just going to go really light on the glue here. I'm probably going to need to dab that with my finger because I feel like, well, that was just, there we go. Okay. And the H I'm just going to go right there. It starts right above the uh, the T in Fathers. Okay, just trying to make sure that you got it nice and level. Despite the fact that we have the little markers there, sometimes because they're so small, the machines kind of cut them like skewed. So just use your use them as a guide, but also use your best judgment just to make sure that you get everything nice and lined up and everything looks good. Okay, so that's looking good. And I might just have to pop my head in there a few times just to make sure that everything is lining up nicely. Okay, so putting the glue on the P. And uh, there it is. There's that next little marker there. Pop that down and kind of adjust it if you have to. There we go. Oops, come here, P. All right. And I'm just barely squeezing a little bit of glue out of the bottle and then just touching it to the pee. <laughs> kind of sound like, a, feel like a five-year-old when I talk about pee. Sorry, that was, there's still a little boy inside of me, I think. Okay. <clears throat> and that is stuck to my finger now. I'm just going to have to do it like that. All 
All right, now that looks pretty good. I think the Y is a little low, but let me see if I can pop that up. See, that's the good thing about not using a lot of glue is you can just lift things back up if you're not happy with how you put it down. I'm gonna try that one more time and just make sure that I get it high enough. I'm just gonna dab that just a tad. Looks like it left a little bit of yellow or a little bit of red there, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll cover it up. And I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me see, I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, I noticed here that this little middle of the R isn't really glued down very well. So what you do is just grab a little scrap piece of paper like this, throw a little bit of glue right on the end of it, and just kind of paint a little bit of glue right underneath, and then just press that down, and that'll stay for you. Okay, so base of the card's pretty much done. We've got majority of our sentiment in place, and now it's time to put together the cheeseburger. And I'm sorry that the wind is super annoying today. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this giant piece here. Now you can see that I've strategically done some inking and these are the only areas on this piece that are actually gonna show through, which is why I only inked here. Uh, so if you take a look at the final photo of the project, you can kind of see where to ink just to save some time. And uh, I also emboss this with a, like a, a kind of a random bubbly sort of um, embossing folder because I, this is the only area here that's gonna show through and it kind of just gives the impression of um, the little you know sesame seeds or whatever it is that you see on a hamburger bun. So let's get this glued down. Now this piece here, uh, this piece is, well, it's our main piece, but on the actual base of our card, we're gonna see a series of score marks all over the place to help us get this uh, aligned and placed onto the front of this card nice and accurately so that if you do mass produce these for all of our people on Etsy or if you have your own shop, you can be consistent. So you take a photo of one and a customer orders one, well, you can guarantee pretty much that they'll get the same result. Okay, so find those little score marks there. Just make sure that you get everything within the little guides there. Okay, and just press that down once you've got it in place. That looks about right to me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next layer that's gonna go down is uh, what I'll call the meat layer, okay? And this was actually a cuddle bug folder. And as you probably know, cuddle bug has been discontinued. So if there are any cuddle bug folders out there that you really wanna get your hands on, I think now would be the time because they're not gonna reproduce them anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. It's probably one of my favorite products from the Cricut line, the cuddle bug and all the accessories. All right, so we're just gonna line that up. Of course, you can take a look up here where the word day is starting to kind of pop out and use that as your guide. Okay, so we've got the meat down. And don't worry about that little splotch there. That will pretty much get covered up. Okay, next is our tomato layer. Now. That doesn't look like a tomato right now, but it will. It will once we get it glued down, and it's strategically designed this way to, uh, well, just to piece together more easily with the least amount of layers, because we are gonna add some dimension to this. We're gonna kind of curl the cheese and the, um, the lettuce a little bit, just to kind of give this thing a little punch. All right, so we're gonna line that up with the existing letters there at the top for the word day. Okay, and you'll notice that I just inked around this area here. That's where the tomato is gonna to be visible. You'll, you'll see how this is gonna to go together here in a second. And next, we're gonna put the lettuce layer on, and there you go. You can kind of see how that is starting to form now. And that is going to be the second to last layer that goes on there, and then we're gonna put the bun on top, obviously. I'm gonna glue the, well, definitely put glue towards the top of the lettuce but I'm not gonna put glue all the way down the, the bottom of the, the, this lettuce piece because I wanna curl that lettuce out and give it a little dimension. So I'm gonna stop, oh, say right about here and leave the bottom half of this glueless. Okay, so you can take a look at these two little areas here. You'll see how they match up with the previous tomato layer. 
And then, of course, you want to make sure that you get that nice and aligned as well. Pardon my head for a second. I just want to make sure that I get it right because this is going to be the version that I actually photograph for the website. So, okay. So now, because we didn't put the glue all the way down, um, after we get everything together, I'm going to grab a dowel and kind of curl the, uh, the lettuce out a little bit. Okay. Next up is a little piece of cheese here. Okay. And the, the tip right here, this little pointy area is going to go right in between where the tomato and the lettuce mat, uh, meet up. So grab your glue. Let's put some glue on the cheese. Said nobody ever. And let's get that into place. Just like that. Should kind of curl right along that little tomato. There we go. That's nice cheese. Good job, cheese. You're having a good day, cheese. Okay. All right, so next piece of cheese now. <clears throat> and again, don't put glue all the way at the bottom of the cheese here because we're going to curl that up a little bit too. Uh, you can definitely put glue here because this is kind of just the shadow layer for the lettuce that we're going to, it's going to go on top of this ultimately. And over here is fine, but just leave the cheese alone there. Don't put any glue on the cheese. Okay, and now you want to match this up. No, actually, you know what? I got to curl this up because this is going to, let me grab a dowel here. I may need to reapply the glue on that. And grab this cheese and I'm going to curl this up a little bit. Just want to have it sticking out just a tad like that. We're going to work on that a little bit more in, in just a minute, but let's grab this next piece here. And this next piece is going to go like this, right in this area here. And you can see how you need to do that. You need to curl that up so that we can get the other piece of cheese on underneath it. Okay. I suppose we could have done this first and put that cheese on after, but either way, not a big deal. Okay. And this piece of lettuce here, um, going to definitely work the ends here with some glue, maybe this little area here, don't put glue on it just towards the bottom. And then again, just kind of work the top half of the lettuce here with glue, leave the bottom half uh, alone so that we can take and kind of flare that, that lettuce out a little bit. Okay. But let's make sure that we get this nice and lined up with that cheesy layer there. Okay. And then eventually, like I said, once this is fully set, we can take these little bottom pieces, kind of curl them up just to kind of give it a little extra oomph. Okay. Now let's pop the bun on top here and I've got my glue. Now this one here, this is going to glue down flat so you can put glue on this completely. And again, I hit this with the same embossing folder that I did for the base layer, just to keep everything nice and consistent. And for this, you just want to match it up with the little cutouts for the A, the Y, and the D, just like that. There we go. Okay. So there's our cheeseburger. Okay. And now there's one other thing here too. There's these two tiny little pieces. Don't throw these out. You're going to need them. Okay. And what they do is they make up and you probably want to grab a pick me up tool. If you have one, let me grab that with my pick me up. I'll show you where it goes. There's a green layer and then there's a brown layer and the brown's going to go on top of the green. It's a really tiny little piece. Um, we added it just to kind of make it look complete. Okay. So the green layer is going to go there and then I'm going to take my brown layer and glue it on top of the green layer just to kind of finish off the, make the D look complete. Okay. Just dab that just gently and match that up with that previous green piece. There we go. Okay. So you can see how that kind of completes the letter D and also keeps the bun more continuous. Okay. So of course, uh, well, you need some fries if you're going to eat a burger, right? Okay. So we're going to start off with this piece here. This is the main piece. Okay. And just get the glue on the entire thing. Of course I inked the fries as well. And you know, when you hit the edges of 
the fries here. It does kind of make them look a little crispy. So this is a nice, uh, I think it's a dandelion by AC Cardstock. And I just hit it with some brown. And you just want to line that up with the existing little section there. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. There we go, okay. That looks nice. And then we've got two more little pieces here. One that's gonna go here. So let's just throw a little bit of glue on this guy. Okay, just match that up. It's kind of like a little puzzle. And you know what I forgot to do is uh, the little ends of the fries. I'm gonna hit those with a little bit more ink to kind of make the ends look burnt. And I may just show that in the video here in just a moment. Okay, so that's that. And we have a pickle. Okay, so I'll take this first layer here and just kind of figure out the correct alignment for that. Let me get that glued down. Just like that. And then of course the top of our pickle. Just glue that right on top here, leaving a little bit of that bottom part still exposed. That looks nice. Okay, and finally, we've got these pieces here. And those are gonna go kind of like that, just to make the fry look dimensional, okay? So this one's gonna go towards the top. Actually, all of them are going to be situated the same way towards the top of each of the darker yellow areas here. Just follow the uh, crinkle cut of the base layer to get that down properly. Okay, and then this piece here is gonna go over here. I think this is brilliant. Especially, you, you gotta ink the fries, otherwise they just don't look as, don't look as real, I guess. That looks really cool though. Okay, so that goes like that. And then we just have one more little piece that is gonna go on like that. And let's get our glue on the back of this guy. And voila. Okay. And there it is. It almost looks like you can eat it. It's really cool. Okay, so the card's complete. And of course, uh, oh, by the way, I think this is all set nicely. I'm just gonna take the back of my little exacto here. And then again, I mentioned that we didn't put glue on the bottom of the lettuce here so that we could kind of curl it out a little bit and give it a little bit of life, right? Okay, and same with the cheese. I don't think we put glue here. So you can kind of curl that up a little bit. Just flare it out, just gently. And you can see there's just a little bit of dimension on that that really just is gonna make it stand out. I don't think, I've never seen a cheeseburger card this cool. And I bet, uh, you know, your parrot heads are going to love this. I wonder if you can find a cool sentiment, a stamp maybe. I'm just gonna put something related to paradise, I think, as the sentiment. I'll make up something, something cheesy. Okay, but there you go. Okay. All right, so of course, wouldn't be complete without an envelope, which we have. Very simple one. And we've got this little piece here. It's a little chef's hat. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glue around the chef's hat here. And then I'm also going to put some glue around the perimeter here. Like that. And then, and when you place this down, just make sure that you get it nice and centered so you have a nice even border going all the way around, just for aesthetics. Also, you wanna make sure that you don't encroach over the fold there. <clears throat> okay, and this, uh, this envelope's a little different, but still easy. You got a tab here and a tab here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our glue on both tabs, like that. And like that, nice and thin. Don't overdo it on the glue. And you literally just take it and fold it over and press down and that's it. Okay, so let's hold that just for a moment just to make sure everything stays 
in place for us. There we go. You can see the little little chef's hat there. And the card goes in beautifully. Ready for dad. I love this card. I had, uh, it's a lot of fun putting it together. Definitely take the time to emboss and ink it to really give, you know, make it pop and stand out. It looks great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you did, take a moment and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. It lets me know that you're having fun with me. And if you'd make this or any other items from our grilling and chilling bundle, we'd love to see it or them. So please visit us in the official group on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group. You can join myself and the 12,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So again, thank you for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.